Welcome, today I'm going to show you how to implement and set up the advanced session plugin and Steam integration in Unreal Engine 5. First of all, for the implementation you can take your existing project, but for this tutorial I'm just creating here a new one. So the project is opened, but for the next steps we don't want to have it opened, so we can close it. Then you need to go to this website here, Advanced Session Binaries. First link is in the description to download the Advanced Session plugin. Currently for me the Unreal Engine version is 5.03, so I'm downloading this one here. After the download you should have this zip file here that you need to extract. When unzipping is done we need our project folder here. And check here if you have here a plugins folder. If not, then just create here a new one and call it exactly plugins. Exactly like this. We can open this and now open this folder here. And here we have two folders, advanced session and an example blueprints. Go here to the advanced sessions and copy these two to the plugins folder we just created. Then you need to go to the Unreal documentation for online subsystems team, second link in the description, and scroll all the way down to defaultengine.ini and copy everything here in this box. Then we need our project folder again and go here to config and then make sure here defaultengine.ini, not another one. Open here the defaultengine.ini and scroll down all the way and at the very end, no, paste it. So then we can save it and close it and next step is opening up our project again. Now let's check if the plugin is correctly installed. For that go here to edit, plugins and then to advanced sessions plugin or search for it. Then you should see both of them here enabled. If not, enable them and restart the project. And there's another important thing. Currently the advanced session plugin is not working completely with only Blueprint projects. If that changes, I'll let you know in a pinned comment under this video. So before the next step, if your project is important, please back up it before. So the solution is to add a new C++ class. You can do that by clicking here on Tools and then here on New C++ class. And we'll select here None, Next, we can leave it by My Class and then create here the class. So if that's done, we get here message, so we can press OK, here we can press No, and then we can actually close the project. Then go to your project folder and try to open your .u project file. And if you open this, you're getting this message here. Just click on yes. And now it will do something. We create some folders here. And basically just wait now. It can take like up to a minute or so. Just wait a few minutes at max. And then after a certain time, for me it's about like half a minute, the project should open automatically. So now the process is done and we're seeing the project is opening and yeah, that's basically the C++ setup we needed to do. Now let's test to play and you don't see anything because there are two conditions that Steam is working here in our project. And the first one is to start Steam. So I'm doing that now in the background. So now Steam is opened, but there is a second condition and that is that we can't play here in editor. So not this way here, selected viewport or also not new editor window. It needs to be standalone game. So click here on standalone game and test it. And here we are. And now in the bottom right hand corner, you can see the Steam overlay. That means everything works correctly. And that was the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions left, feel free to ask in the comments and see you in the next one.